My name is Taiwanda Lovelace, and I've been trying to obtain assistance with major bullying for years. Not only can bullies use connections to steal your protected work or business, they can also prevent, block, and hinder your ability to even seek justice. Laws are broken to make deprivation appear legal. Meanwhile, your valid allegations are ignored and covered up with lies. She does not know that bullies will interfere with her ability to get help. Even those professionals, lawyers and politicians will turn a blind eye when those well-connected entities decide to deprive. Bullying others out of their ability to exercise their rights is not acceptable. Popularity should not determine your ability to exercise your rights. Bullies use violence to thwart assistance and alienate. And once that violence is spread across multiple groups, no one wants to get involved. You're blamed so you can remain enslaved. So over 30 years, I haven't had a voice. Representation has been refused on all points. There's never been any justification for subjects who have never been addressed like a human being. I've never been strung out on drugs. I've never had a history of mental illness. There's no affiliation with gangs. I've never been a prostitute. And I was isolated for my entire youth. Under Freedom of Information Act and due to privacy violation concerns, I requested a copy of my FBI file. I never faced charges, federal charges, yet there is a 357 page FBI report on me. I only had one Georgia case that was, uh, uh, what is that, First Offenders Act, so it didn't count anymore. So there was no reason for them to have the, the my FBI file sealed per court order. What are they hiding? The FBI? They were able to use the courts. How come I couldn't sue without people tampering with my documentation? Timeline for court ordered and sealed FBI file also covers those years when I was working with those music industry label and local production companies. So they were watching me the whole time. Filed, I filed against the New York music publisher and there's more information there. Here's an interstate case report that shows that I was reporting like I was supposed to on that First Offender Act, which I can honestly say by law that I've never been convicted because of that First Offenders Act and not getting in trouble anymore. The timing of all of that surveillance and uh, that's covered under that FBI file is also when I filed for my copyrights for all my musical works. These same works that were listed in that major music, and music co-publishing contract with Zamba that they claim they never had, they never received. So somebody was getting the mail. Relevant facts have never been addressed. Housing and employment were taken repeatedly by officials. Police illegally modified criminal background. It's never been addressed. I've never had an opportunity and I've contacted every legal organization with letters and without. I've contacted organizations, governments, representatives, senators, congressmen, nobody would ever even look at that. Not to mention the fact that my father's in jail for killing a police officer. You can't tell me that all of this police activity and FBI activity don't have nothing to do with anything. Please, compile with the, all of the other things that you see here. I filed a lawsuit in Michigan years ago where actual violence was being committed against me and I was being intimidated and the courts dismissed it as fanciful. But they got a search warrant. The police got the law to work for them to come search my house and accuse me of a double homicide. Here's a copy of the search warrant. But nobody's actually addressed this evidence. They'd rather focus on me and, and what I'm doing. I've been trying to survive for the last 30 years, fighting every opposition and every doggone struggle just to even be heard and I still after 30 years can't get any officials to look at what they're doing to me or to communicate with me like a human being. So over 30 years they just do anything they want to do to me and say it's legal or it's by law and it's not. I have never been addressed.
No one's ever talked to me specifically. I've had no reason for the FBI to follow me for all those years and then have the files of court order sealed. And they're watching these courts and clerks modify these records and I'm reporting this stuff like a citizen is supposed to, at least a citizen with rights. And nobody's even addressing it. You can clearly see. They time time they changed the date that I've turned in my paperwork and assigned case files and covered up the fact that I had said that Look at how fat that file is. They say I didn't get provide any evidence. They were able to do that by changing that first page and taking away all my supporting documentation. So when it was before whoever it was before, they didn't even have my documentation. So they dismissed my complaint of misconduct saying I did not provide any proof. <laughs> but you can see that big stack there and how these documentation that I'm showing you now, this is just a sample, a few pages. No one should have to be forced to spend a lifetime subjected to major bullies. I didn't create racism, but I'm treated like I did. I can't get any support. I can't exercise any rights. I can't work a job without this past coming back to me. Whoever and whatever happened with those individuals, nobody wants to address it, but nobody wants to fix it either. It's easier to just disregard. And I don't have any other way to fight but with my videos. See, with my website, you can go in and alter those. With videos, you can pause it and actually look at the documentation, and they can't edit it. They can't go in and, and stop you from being able to see it. But they can keep me at a point where I don't have any money to afford to keep putting this out here and to keep fighting. I can't get a job because nobody wants to hire me because I'm supposed to be so terrible and everything is all my fault, but I can't even be discussed or talked to like a normal human being to even know everything that has transpired. So I only know what's happened to me. So what's happened to me is in these books. And in these books, they also provide other documentation and other information that can be helpful to the youth, to the future generations. But I can't get any support because no one wants the truth. They don't want the truth. So I'm asking those who are seeking the truth to take the time to look at the publications. Look at the proof. Look at what society is telling you and then look at what I'm showing you here. Yes, I'm telling my side of the story. Everybody told their side for 20 years when I didn't even know what was going on. I was vilified and made the scapegoat and the bad guy for this. All I wanted was my doggone rights to be continued. I just wanted to have the rights to doggone share my story and my experiences to defend myself against those that have money and position and influence to tell everyone else what they wanted. Again, I'm still asking for help and assistance. In the meantime, I've created some products that you would definitely want to take advantage of. I've made them very affordable so that anyone can have them. They are dedicated to youth but, and young adults, but anyone can read them and, and understand and appreciate it. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening. Visit 7westpublishing.com.